Welcome to Warriors.com. Sitting down today with General Manager Larry Riley, just a little over a week before the draft. And Larry, with this uh, draft coming up very closely, where are you in the evaluation process? Where, where do you stand? We're getting a whole lot closer and we're not finished. Um, there will be some decisions to be made and it may come down to where we get to the spot where we're picking and you'll have a choice and we hope that it comes down that way. We like some of the players that could be there at 11, which is where we are right now, but uh, there's some things to be done yet. We're closing in on it. Who knows what may happen, but we have a focus for what could happen at that pick. When you project that pick, you certainly have a list of names, so I would imagine you have them in priority and if that person is there, you're going to take that number one or the number two that you have, whatever, or somebody who was projected a lot like Stephen Curry, who was projected to go earlier might fall into your lap, then you change your plan and go with him. That's exactly right. It can happen. And we did see it happen. You hit on the main one, Stephen Curry. We didn't see that coming till almost 48 hours before the draft. And of course we knew him, we knew what we thought of him. But you do have to plan that something a little bit out of the ordinary could happen, which could affect you, and you have to be ready for anything that could happen like that. With all of the resources that you have and all of the personnel involved in bringing the, the players to your attention, you've got the scouts all season long. You've got video personnel that bring it together, that put it before you. You've got assistant coaches. Uh, you've got your own front office people, uh, you know, along with you and Travis Schlink and now Bob Myers. And, and uh, of course Jerry West. What do you value the most in all of that process? How do you bring that together? We've been fortunate to have accumulated a group of guys who have an opinion. And as far as that staff is concerned, there's nobody who's going to sit in our room and say, well, I don't know about this, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. They'll all come straight to me with an opinion. And that's what I want to hear. Now, if it varies, that's okay. Uh, if somebody disagrees, that's okay. We'll, we'll make a decision, but we hopefully will have covered every possibility in terms of what would be the strong points or weak points of any player that we might draft. And when you talk about weak points, you're going to say, okay, can this guy get better in a certain area? So to me, it's the candor, it's the conversation. And then this conversation, of course, is based upon having seen these people play. And we go with statistics some, but we go a whole lot more with what we see with our own eyes. Yeah, because you've had people come in, and that's, that's probably the most valuable asset, I would believe, to see them work out. The workout is really helpful. I'm even more concerned about seeing them play in a college basketball game or in some setting. The finishing, uh, finishing part of it is really the workout that takes place here. I would draft a player who hasn't worked out here if necessary. And I, I believe enough in what we've been able to accumulate sure. over the year and sometimes two years or three years, depending on how long the player has been in college, I'll put more stock in that than a workout that, that occurs here. And I'd love to have the workout here, but um, I'm more about what we've actually seen in game competition. We do see some, practice, some practices that players are involved in. And uh, we had a, a good relationship, as many teams do with college coaches, where you go watch a guy practice, you can watch him play. Those things are really important to me. This organization has added uh, three big parts in the last month. All of a sudden, things coming together, first with Bob Myers working alongside you, and then the great Jerry West as, in an advisory capacity, and just most recently uh, naming Mark Jackson as the head coach. How do you bring all them together in such a short time that you can get on the same page? The biggest thing is to just be able to sit down and to exchange thoughts and to exchange ideas. I thought it was important to have a comfort level with whoever we hired as our head coach. I thought that had to, well, I thought we had to start there. Now, will it grow? Of course it will. But if you have too much hesitation and uh, too many question marks, you can't get off to a good start. We eliminated that because Mark Jackson was the guy that we felt could do that. He's comfortable with us, we're comfortable with him. Jerry West has been along, uh, around so long, he can sit down with anybody and he's not gonna have any discomfort. And uh, the good thing for us is we have a board member in Jerry that we can run something by from time to time and get a good opinion. Recently, I've seen comments made by you, I've uh, listened to you, in fact, in some other interviews. And I, I sense uh, 
I don't know, there's a, a sense of excitement that you're working, going to be working with Mark Jackson as the head coach. I, I, I sense that enthusiasm. It's really there. Uh, we did an extensive search and uh, Joe and I pretty much arrived on the same day at uh, the conclusion, okay, it's time to choose a coach. And so we got there and we thought the facts aren't gonna change. We've talked to a lot of people and Mark Jackson's enthusiasm is infectious. And I, I, that's a great thing. And I'm excited to be bringing a guy into this organization who is going to command the respect of the players immediately. He's a guy who isn't afraid to throw it out there that we're gonna be successful. And I think this organization has needed that. You know, getting back to the draft, uh, we all focus on your first pick, the number 11 pick, but you also have a second round pick and number 44. Is it safe to say that you do just as much work and there's effort going into choosing someone in that second round because you can find some jewels there. Our staff will work diligently on that pick and I personally can't get to all 60 guys that are going to be drafted in the course of the season. There's a good likelihood I will have seen that person play in some venue or another because there were things that happened this year where there was a camp in New Jersey that I'm pretty sure our second pick at 44 was in there so I've seen him play. Uh, probably was at Chicago also, but that, that's a situation now that's more about drills and shooting yes. and limited competition. So I'll have some knowledge of that guy, but our staff will have great knowledge of him. That is really important that if you could just grab somebody at 44 that makes your team and makes you better, whether it's this year or three years down the road, maybe every third year you get a guy on the second round that makes your team and makes you better. We need to do that. Let's project ahead another week and your uh, day before that draft and that war room is there and you, you get all the personnel. Uh, who all's in there and what is it like in the war room as it comes down to making a decision? I would think that most of our discussions have already taken place by then and there are some knocking around so to speak that has taken place before that. Uh, one person giving an opinion, another person giving an opinion, you have uh, maybe two sides of an issue or one guy likes a player, one guy doesn't like a player. I think all of that we've been through by the time we head into that last day. One of the things we do try to do is stay up with the NBA players throughout the course of the season because one of the ingredients that comes along with this draft is the possibility of a trade. So you gotta be on top of the NBA players because they can be involved in a trade that might involve your draft pick or something like that. So if something were presented to us, we could make a decision on it. We'd be a little bit cautious if it was a late presentation. Larry, thank you very much for your thoughts and information regarding this year's draft and of course, the best of luck. Thank you, Jim.